For this problem, we're going to find various function values and limit values. Problem one, this notation right here, h of 3, this means the y value of the function when x equals 3. So if we come down here to x equals 3, we need to look for the function value. Well, it looks like the actual value of the function at x equals 3 exists up here at y equals 8. That means that the answer to the first part of this problem is 8. Next, we have the limit as x approaches 3 of h of x. So when we're finding a limit as x approaches approaches 3. Usually I imagine myself as a little ant walking along this function towards the x value of 3. And as I get closer and closer to x equals 3, what does my y value approach? Well, it looks to me that from either direction, either left of 3 or right of 3, as we walk towards x equals 3, our y value approaches 6. So our limit of this function as x approaches 3 equals 6. Next, h of 7. That means the y value of this function when x equals 7. So we come over here to x equals 7 and we're looking for our function and the function is blank there. The function does not exist at x equals 7. So we're going to put in a dne for this answer. Next the limit as x approaches 7 of the function. Again I'm going to imagine myself as an ant walking along this function towards x equals 7 from either direction and ask what happens to my height or my altitude or my y value. Well it looks like from either direction my y value approaches 1. So our limit as x goes to 7 of h of x equals 1. Next, we want the limit as x approaches 8 of h of x. Well, same deal, we're an ant on this function walking from either direction towards x equals 8. From the left, from the right, it doesn't matter. It looks like as x approaches 8, our height is going to approach 2. Okay, great. I hope that that gives you some help with the basics of the notation here, specifically the difference between a function value and a limit of that function. Okay, I'll see you in the next one.